Some San Francisco restaurants started requiring customers to show proof of vaccine boosters as recently as today. Yeah, they say it's in an abundance of caution as Omicron cases are continuing to rise in the city. Guard First Taylor Bisaki reports. In addition to proof of vaccination, some restaurants in San Francisco are now taking it a step further and requiring proof of vaccine boosters. Omicron is doing a really good job of escaping the defenses of our initial vaccines that we received. It seemed if, if the standard for us was creating a safe environment and there was a safety tool in place being the booster, then we need to put that in place to keep everybody in that environment safe. Nate Norris is the chef at Zuni Cafe on Market Street. He says the restaurant will begin checking eligible customers for their booster status on Wednesday, the 29th. Signs are already posted on their doors, and staff have been calling those with future reservations to let them know. We are requiring a booster for four hours. We've got an app at the, at the host stand at the restaurant, and the, and the app scans it, and then it pops up the information that we need to see, and not really much more than that. Shows, shows the vaccine, you know, what vaccine's been received, the date, the person's name, and then we just have to see their photo ID, and then they're good to come in. It's a, it's a pretty fluid system. Meanwhile, cassava in San Francisco's outer Richmond neighborhood already began checking booster statuses on Wednesday, making the announcement on their social media, saying it's the best way to ensure staff and customers stay safe. Because this variant is so pervasive, um, and then we're hearing a lot of people saying that, you know, oh, I have boosters, but like I know people that got it, right? So we don't want to get sick. Owner Yuka Ioroi says she's planning to close the restaurant for a week after the holidays as a precaution, but will stay closed longer if Omicron cases continue rising. Run through the holiday season and then stay put after and kind of see how it goes. While Norse and Ioroi are the first to implement booster requirements for restaurants in the city, they don't believe that they'll be the last. In San Francisco, I'm Taylor Bisaki, Cron 4 News.